In this video, we will show you how to replace your transfer case shift motor on the Chevy Trailblazer. This will be mounted to your transfer case under your vehicle. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing you want to do is make sure you're in two-wheel drive high. Once you've done so, safely make your way under the vehicle. We're making our way to the center where the transfer case is. Along the back side of that transfer case is where your transfer case shift motor is located. You'll find that you have one wiring harness that connects this in. Go ahead and follow that wiring harness up to its connector. We'll release this from its bracket. Use a trim tool or some pliers and gently pop that out of place. Now once you've done that, you're going to have to disconnect this. There's a small squeeze tab. Go ahead and squeeze that in and separate it. Once you have this area separated, give it a quick check for corrosion and we can set those wiring harnesses aside. We'll continue on to looking at each of the four mounting bolts. Three of them are pretty much out in the open. The fourth one's just up and over the side there. We'll remove all four of those using a 13 millimeter. Now we'll start removing each of those four mounting bolts. As I had mentioned, three of them are out in the open. The fourth one's all the way up on the top there. I like to start with the hardest one, so that's where I'll go. Remove that mounting hardware, replace it as necessary. Continue on. For the last one, we'll make sure we're holding on to that shift motor. You don't want it falling down. Take hold of the shift motor, give it a wiggle and separate it from the transfer case. There it is, friend. Now that we have that motor out of the way, the next thing we want to do is pay attention to the mounting area. Make sure there's no corrosion or raised areas where the seal is going to go. While you're cleaning this down, you also want to pay attention in this area. There should be a seal. If you see a whole bunch of fluid, it's leaking. The next thing you'll want to do is clean and inspect your mounting hardware. Apply a little bit of blue thread locker. Now looking at this shaft right here, you're going to find that it has splines, but it does also have a small notch cut out in it. If you were to look at the shift motor itself, you'll see that it has several splines making its way all the way around. And then it also has one area that actually protrudes down into the center a little bit more. You can see it right up along the top there. So we'll take quick note of that. And now we can align this and slide it into position. Install all four of those mounting bolts and then we'll torque them to 12 foot pounds. Just twist and push as needed here. Should slide right into position fairly easily. Make sure you're holding onto it. Start in all the mounting bolts before you tighten any of them. Bottom these out. Now that we have that torqued, let's continue on to that wiring harness. Align the locking tab and press it into position. Got a nice little click from that right there. We'll give it a tug trying to separate the two pieces. Assume they do not separate. Continue on with securing it into its mounting bracket. We'll 
press that right in there, give it a wiggle, make sure it is secure so the wires can't fall down and potentially get damaged. Okay friends, we fully installed our transfer case shift motor. At this point, you can safely make your way out from under the vehicle. Hop inside the passenger compartment and test the functionality, making sure that you can shift from two wheel drive into four wheel drive and back to two wheel drive. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.